In today's modern times, urban bee colonies are thriving more than ever before, mainly because urban bees don't forage on crops drenched in poisons designed to kill insects. Our iBuzz Hive makes it both easy and practical for you to keep one or more bee colonies on your rooftop, in your backyard, in a balcony, or even in a tree. My name is Roger Lewis. The idea of the iBuzz Hive came to me when I realised that uh, without bees, a lot of the plant life that we rely on would uh, probably not be there, and that could have a very damaging knock-on effect on pretty much all life on our planet. I'm Fraser Lindsley. I've got a degree in environmental studies. I've always been involved in environmental issues. A lot of the issues are, seem too big for you and I to have a direct impact on. As I found with bees, it's something which you and I and everyone in the street can have an impact on and avoid their decline. I wanted to design a hive that was suspended from above as against as stood on the floor. I wanted to make the hive as uh, self-sustaining as possible so that as little intervention is needed for manual inspections. I thought that if we could build in sensors and make it remotely monitored, that would go a long way to limiting the disturbance to the bee's nest um, by current practice, such as um, opening the nest and smoking it and, and uh, having a manual inspection. By including various sensors within the iBuzz Hive, data can be transmitted to a cloud server automatically using Wi-Fi. The BuzzCloud smartphone app we have designed then fetches the information from the BuzzCloud server. IoT technology makes it practical and cost effective to monitor bee health and growth using your tablet or smartphone. With the iBuzz Hive, remote monitoring means you don't need to get into a clumsy beekeeper suit or risk being stung for every hive inspection. BuzzCloud can even send you a message if our cloud servers detect evidence of varroa mites in your iBuzz Hive. The application that we have at the moment is still in the basic stages. All of the feedback from the electronics in the hive is all being brought down to the application. It has all of the, the functionality is there, you can see what's happening. We're working now with app developers to bring a fully functioning version of the app to both of the major mobile phone platforms so that you can download it from the, the different stores and it will link to your hive or your hives if you have more than one. And you can then control and monitor them from your phone anywhere in the world, wherever you happen to be. I focus the design as much as possible in, in, in the arena of ethical technology. So we're not using wood that's taken out of a forest, even if that might be a renewable resource. We're using a waste stream. We, we recycle um, used cardboard and place that into our 3D printing process and the result that we've got is a hive that is both lighter and stronger than the traditional wooden beehive. We've moved from the initial idea and concept to now having a fully working prototype. This top box is called a super. This is where the bees store their extra honey. Each frame has sensors built into the wax. They are so tiny you can't see them unless they're pointed out to you. The sensors can detect the temperature of the hive, humidity levels, size of the hive, and even the weight of the honey stored in the super. At this stage, the design of the hive is finished both mechanically and uh, the electronic side of things. Some of the funding that we're, we're seeking will be for mass producing hives and fulfilling rewards on, on Indiegogo and, and further sales channels after that, and that we feel will provide the best value for money. Honey is full of good things. Bees are the only insects that make something we eat. Few people also know honey can cure hay fever. Our iBuzz hives produce 100% natural raw honey, so you will have no need to get any from anywhere else. The idea that you can keep bees in an urban environment, in near your house, your, garden, your factory, in near your shops, and one of them remotely so you can always see where they are and how they're doing, just seems to be such a good idea. I'm just surprised that nobody's thought of this before. Do you want to make some honey recipes to find on the BuzzCloud website? Yeah! So, if you want to help us make a difference and learn how easy it is to help save the bees, join us at Indiegogo.com during our pre-launch. By contributing to our Indiegogo campaign, you're not only helping us to continue to develop our iBuzz Hive, 
with remote monitoring using IoT technology, our custom app to monitor the hive health and well-being, and enabling us to bring this product to market whilst being excellent value for money, you are also helping to save bees by enabling them to thrive in an urban environment where they don't have to deal with crops drenched in pesticides. They can continue their pollination, which means more healthy plants and flowers, and in turn, a healthy planet. Thus, owning your own beehive means you get free honey. So, if you are passionate about bees, beehives, beekeeping, IoT technology, mobile phones, apps, plants, flowers, the environment, or honey, then fund your passion. Join us at Indiegogo.com during our pre-launch. You will also be able to grab yourself our products at bargain early bird prices. Buzzcloud, we take the sting out of beekeeping.